Okay, folks, welcome back. This teaching is going to be specifically dealing with the ICT London Closed Kill Zone. Okay, London Closed Kill Zone. What ICT concepts are going to be used in this module? The importance of time and price. The London Close. The London Close Kill Zone. Characteristics of the London Close. Okay, so the London close is a particular time of day that usually ends the opposite end of the daily range. Um, the major pairs, usually coupled with a dollar, are ideal for this time of day. And the London close frequently sets up an optimal trade entry pattern that can offer 10 to 20 pips for a scalp. The key times to monitor are 10 a.m. to noon New York time. This is the ICT London close kill zone. As you can see here on the chart on the right, this is a dollar cat chart. You can see the beginning of the day. We had a consolidation, but in that consolidation during the Asian market, we create the low of the day. Then after midnight New York time, the market rallies one sided all the way up into the time window that's delineated between 10 a.m. and noon New York time. This is the London close kill zone. You see the daily high formed exactly within that little window of time. And then price subsequently traded lower into the close. Another example here, this is the Euro dollar, just to show you how the London close encapsulates the daily range. Okay, we have the Asian range in here. The high created during the Asian market. I actually traded this pair Again, this is a very uh, similar chart we've used in this series so far. But the high forms in Asia, then after New York midnight time, we had a high form again in London high, New York session high, and then the low of the day forms exactly at the parameters between 10 a.m. and noon New York time. This is the ICT London closed kill zone. Market trades higher off that window of time and then goes into the close. The London close kill zone, if we study this portion of the day, the price action seen at London close typically sees a retracement off the high of the day on bullish days and off the low on the day that is seen bearish. There's typically a five minute optimal trade entry set up in these conditions, but they're very important to remember this. They're very, very short term in nature. So the moves aren't a lot. They're not like the equivalent of like a London open or a New York open. It's typically going to be very small, short term, 10, 15, maybe even 20 pips. If you get anything more than 20 pips, it's going to be it's going to be a rarity for that to occur. But you can see as an example here, the Aussie dollar, we have the ICT London close kill zone in here and the market creates the low of the day as we would expect then it gives us an optimal trade entry long and trades higher now this gives us a rather easy 20 pips in here on this particular day they they won't always look like this but the, it's important to see how the daily range is encapsulated the higher lows generally formed between 10 o'clock and noon New York time so for the sake of note taking and completeness, if we're bullish and the daily close is going to be high relative to its opening, in other words, it's an up close day, the London close is going to be typically when the high of the day is formed between 10 o'clock and noon. Now, there will be times when that isn't the case, but for now, if you use this general rule of thumb, it's going to serve you well. Okay, characteristics of London close. Now the London close can create continuation points for swings that trade well into New York afternoon hours. And that means if we're bullish overall in the day, uh, instead of creating the high of the day in bullish markets or bullish days, many times the London close can actually create a continuation pattern as seen in this example here on the dollar yen. The market had traded higher initially during the day and then we had a consolidation but inside the consolidation we had an optimal trade entry here 
This is going to be on a five minute basis. Okay. Whenever we're studying London clothes, you have to be looking at it from a five minute. Anything higher than that, you're not going to get the detail you need. But optimal trade entry long in here, it creates the continuation of the overall trend and nice extrapolated move all the way up to the 300 extension. And what had been the direction of the day or week can change during the London close. And let's take a look at the example here. And you can see in this Aussie dollar chart, we can see that very phenomenon take place. Let's zoom in and take a closer look at what's being shown here. This is a New York and London close overlap. So there's characteristics that's important for New York session. Typically what you'll see is the continuation of what's seen in London overnight. And that would be if we're bullish in London, we would expect to see New York continue, continue moving bullishly as well. And then London close be the high of the day. If we're bearish and we've seen London bearish, then New York bearish, we're going to be looking for London close to be the low of the day. Okay, between 10 o'clock and noon, we'll expect to see the low of the day form. Now, if there are times when the market creates a, for instance, a liquidity pool like this, you can clearly see what's, um, what I'm going to reference here, but it's the double top right in here. And we can see how London close this particular day creates the high of the day, but also forms a reversal point for the rest of that day. And the next day we see price move rather aggressively lower. So if we look at all these characteristics as a whole, okay, I've started with the intraday, even though some of you may not be interested in day trading because of your life circumstances or you just don't have an appetite for doing it. It's beneficial to understand the engineering of how price moves from the short term and then we can work from that price point higher into the higher time frames. It's important to know these things for entries. It's important to know these things for managing positions because the characteristics that have been shown in the free tutorials that I've done thus far, they may seem rather simplistic. They may be rather short in duration. You're used to very long videos from me, but the insights I've given you are very concise. They're very generic, but don't let that simplicity and short term delivery and presentation for you. There's a lot of insight that's been shown. I've given you the DNA, if you will, of how a daily bar or candle is formed on bullish and bearish days. The times you're going to be unfruitful using this information is when we have a Z day where it goes up and down in quiet consolidation or a seek and destroy day, which is a really wild choppy up and down day where it doesn't really go anywhere until the last portion of the day and then it runs out of the stops and no one saw coming. So if you accept the fact that you're going to have days where you're going to see a scenario that may form and you may believe it's a scenario that may warrant a entry on your demo account, it may not come to fruition. If you study the things I've given you thus far, we went through the Asian session the London session, the New York session, and now we've completed the daily range with the London close kill zone. So we have everything at our disposal in terms of defining the daily range. Now, that does not mean daily bias. It does not mean long-term direction. It just means that we have been able to define the four reference points that make up power three, the open, the high, the low, and the close. And what those three phenomenon take place inside of those four price points, which is the accumulation, manipulation, and distribution. So hopefully you found this teaching insightful. You can find more at the innercircletrader.com.